I did it again. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. Quick second. If you'd like to support the channel for absolutely free, all you got to do is just subscribe. It does help out a lot, and I appreciate you watching. So let's see what all new stuff we got here. This is the new Legendary Relic Tokens. These are made by Ultra Pro. We've seen some of these in the past, and we're going to actually go down memory lane with them really quick. And I'll actually be opening up a box of these. Uh, these included, but the most recent one hasn't even dropped yet. And they already announced the upcoming Legendary Relic Tokens, which seems to be like the one, if you're going to get in on one of these, probably the Legendary ones would be uh, pretty exciting. We're going to go over the tokens that are going to be included in that as well. Here's some from the past. This is the first series that they released. This is Eternal Collection by Ultra Pro uh, in, in partnership with Wizards of the Coast. I mean, both of their logos, uh, trademarks are on the box. But in this collection, we opened this on the channel already. If you want to check that out, just go to the end of the video and uh, you can see what we pulled out of them. You're not guaranteed all the tokens in the box, which makes it unique, of course, to each opening experience. And you're not guaranteed a, a foil of any one of these either. I think the last time I did this, I ended up giving away the Tarmogoyf. We pulled the Tarmogoyf and I selected one at random. I'll probably do the exact same thing with the next collection coming this week. Or within a week and a half, I should be getting the new one in. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, really cool. You got the angel, the beast, the cat, the dragon, the drake. Uh, good old Gideon goblin insect. Nicole Bullis, which was really cool. The Snake, the Soldier, Zombie, Worm, Tarmogoyf, and Spirit Token. Mine, of course, favorite uh, were the Angel and Dragon. And Spirit's pretty cool as well. So that was the Eternal Collection. Lineage. This is the one that I'll be cracking open. And there's even uh, like four randomly inserted ones. I apologize. I don't have them up on the screen, but they're more like anime, like cartoony kind of designs. And those, I believe... I think if they're limited only if you purchase them from your LGS, you get one at random. So definitely check out your LGS uh, for those specially inserted ones. Um, I'm not sure how many exactly the LGSs are going to be sending out. That's local game stores in your area. But, yeah, they will have some on board as well. Uh, and this set, this is the one we're going to be opening pretty soon. I hope to pull maybe like a foil Karn. I think that would be cool. Or a foil Liliana. Even the foil Worm Lifelink token would be pretty sweet. Or Death Touch. Is a Death Touch one in here? It is right there to the left. How about that? Uh, but yeah, definitely really neat. So in this one, you get the elf warrior, the thopter, the vampire, the demon, elemental bird poison. This is for all the people that can't read out there. Sapperling ooze, the pirate, dinosaur, merfolk, carn, worm, Liliana, worm, and Liliana the veil. Pretty, pretty nasty. That's, uh, I think, all of our favorite artwork of Liliana. A lot of custom maids were done on that one on the internet. Um, or people made uh, custom artworks out of it. Really, really neat. So that's the Linean, co linean Collection, linean, Lineage Collection in full. Let's see what is new. The Legendary Collection. The, probably the most I'm excited for is right here. Karn Silver Golem. Mainly because that came out in Urza Saga, and that was my favorite set of all time. That's the one set I just had play sets and play sets of cards. Uh, and uh, the Karn Silver Golem, I, I just loved everything about that card. I always tried to include him in uh, a lot of the decks I built, but he just didn't work out well. He didn't do a whole lot, you know. Uh, I definitely believe Karn has been upgraded like crazy as of late. Uh, and, and, you know, in the past decade or so, they made Karn into something just monstrous and something to be... Uh, to be reckoned with. Other notable ones up in here, uh, definitely uh, Drana up here. Elish Norn, that's cool to see that. Uh, Lady of Scrolls, the old Queen of Fae, good old Una, for all you fairies out there. Uh, Bruna, Light of Alabaster, and then what else we got? This is the other collection. Oh, let me go back really quick, I apologize. So this is the Magic Gathering is legendary, and so this collection is Relic Tokens. This legendary collection releases offers a collectible checklist of 18 of the most powerful legendary creatures in Magic's 25 history, years of history. You can track your life totals easily with these little uh, up and down mabobbers. All the tokens in this set are premium foil. They are? All the tokens in this set are premium foil for an outstanding eye-catching look. They made them all foil. I What? That's insane. 
I mean, that's cool. Uh, absolutely. The Legendary Collection tokens are larger than previous sets. Okay. And feature the Legendary card border along the top edge. That is unique. That is the Legendary uh, border they took over, I think, in Dominaria. That's when they changed over to that unique uh, border for Legendary creatures or Legendary cards in itself. Uh, to provide more flexibility in use, each Relic token has three dials. That's an upgrade. I got this little one up here and these two right here. I wonder why it says 40 and 21 for each one. Someone sell me on the blanks. Uh, what else we got? To track life total from 0 to 99. And a unique third dial that goes from 0 to 21. Specially designed to track commander damage or other game mechanics. That is pretty neat. I'm, I'm pretty excited that they actually added another one. I want to know what you guys think on that. For commander players, is this something you would actually use? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into the rest of them. And I'll go over prices on these. We got the Queen Margessa. I can always say half of these. <laughs> great, uh, great hearted. It almost looks like Greeth. You see that? Is it Greeth hearted? I'm not sure. Captain Sisse. Pretty cool art there. Um, you got the old Gitu. Zer the Encha Enchanter. Brago King Eternal. Each display box contains 36 factory sealed packs. Each pack contains one randomly inserted token. We've also added a bonus pack. To each box. Bonus pack, huh? The Legendary Collection release of Magic the Gathering Relic Tokens collect from a checklist of 18 unique designs, all featuring premium foiled artwork. Again, each token has three built-in rotating numer numerical dials to track life total and commander damage. Each display box contains 36 unopened packs, includes one bonus pack per display. Each pack contains one randomly inserted relic token. You can pre-order these right now. Um, I already, I didn't pre-order mine yet, but I did pre-order the other one that hasn't even dropped yet. It's amazing these are already out. Um, but I believe their pre-order on them goes for $89.99. I picked up the most recent one, uh, this guy, the Lineage Collection. Uh, I paid $90 for that one, and you get a whole box of them. Pretty, pretty interesting stuff. I would play with these. I'm just saying. Um, you know, this is in no way, shape, or form a promotion for ultra pro you know or for these relic tokens or anything like that uh but I, I i think i could see myself playing with these especially if it's all foil that makes it a little cooler um let me know your guys' thoughts on all this again thank you very much for your support and watching bad boy gaming uh, if you're not subscribed by now by all means please do it does help out the channel a lot and it's free to do as always guys pla